All right, Newell's not the result that we wanted, a bit of a close loss there, but certainly some positives out of today. Yeah, um, you know, Dean emphasised the, the throwdown, and for a lot of us new guys, it was uh, you know, a big challenge for us to come in and, and try and get a, another win here in the, in the Blitz. Um, you know, there were some good moments, and there's also moments we need to work on. Um, you know, finishing plays, left leaving some things on the line, uh, to name a few. So, um, you know, decent performance, but, you know, not exactly what we want, but, you know, it's good to have this before round one. That closes out the blitz for us now. How do you feel like this group has come together across the course of the preseason? Yeah, pretty good. Uh, I shouldn't say pretty good. A look, about average. Um, we had a lot of new players, um, new foreign players, uh, new locals. Um, we haven't really had the, you know, th two, three months together. It's been very sporadic given, you know, borders and all those kind of things. So I think it's going to take a little bit more time. Um, I know the coaching staff and the players, we want to be ready to go earlier. But I think, yeah, we just got to hit the drawing board. It's, we, we got the process. It's just a matter of getting the execution right. One of those players that has been around for a while that looked pretty comfortable out there was Chris. 26 points from him, was shooting the lights out. It must feel nice to be in the same colours as him now. Yeah, the amount of times I've wanted to throttle him from the sidelines is, uh, yeah, I've lost count. Um, it's, it's good to be on that side of things. Um, yeah, now we're together, we want to win together. So, um, you know, that's the ultimate goal. 10 points, 7 rebounds from yourself. Do you feel like you're starting to settle into this group as well? Yeah, better. After a couple of quieter games at the end of the Blitz, um, I started pretty well then kind of went into my shell a little bit. Um, you know, Dean told me this week to be aggressive at training and uh, I feel like that carried over into the game. Um, just a few little things, you know, the end of shot clock, a couple of little missed box outs here and there that probably uh, let me down a little bit. And one week today, we play our first regular season game against your old mob up in Sydney. What's on the what's on the to-do list for the training uh, across the course of this week to get ready for that? You know, they play with a lot of pace. I think uh, anyone who's watched any of their games this year has noticed the difference in their style of play this year. Um, it's almost a little bit how Weaver had them playing a few years ago. So, um, you know, we've got a bit of inside knowledge on that. I, I think, um, you know, guys like Martin, Cooks, you know, they're going to be dangerous and we need to be very wary of those guys. And uh, what would you say to the fans at home who've had a little bit of a taste of what this team has uh, to bring, but who might be thinking about signing up as a member? How would you convince them to, to sign up? Oh, it's the best show in town, right? It's the Mel Melbourne United. John Kane Arena is a, such a fantastic venue. What better to do? It's hot outside, get into the air conditioning, enjoy some really good basketball. Thanks, Nils.